Hey guys, my name is Sonia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Sense for Joy. Today I have another another haul for you guys. I have five Middle Eastern fragrances, one lush and four designer. No, not designer, sorry, niche. Okay, let's go. Starting off with a Middle Eastern one that smells amazing. It was a, it was not a blind buy. Actually, I got a decant before, previously, from the same store, and I loved it. It's supposed to be a dupe for this one. Uh, Sol de Janeiro 62. And actually, I think they're very similar, but I prefer this one over the, the original. I don't know why. It smells amazing. It's really yummy. Um, yeah, this is Minia by Paris Corner. If you like Sol de Janeiro 62, you might want to check out this one. The notes in this one are top uh, pistachio and almond. It's super lovely, super nutty. Then in the heart, jasmine, heliotrope and cashmere. And in the base, sandalwood, vanilla and salted caramel. Super delicious. I can pick up on the nuttiness. I can pick up on the a bit of florals and a bit of the salted caramel. It's delicious. Uh, I have worn this one once only since I got it. <laughs> so good. Like it's a perfumey version of this one. Okay, guys. This one is very flaky, as you guys know. Even though if you layer it for uh, with the, the body lotion still very fleety but this one it's amazing really really nice and i enjoy the bottle too in turquoise and rose gold i think it's like a bit kitsch but also pretty i like it so it wears like it's not a beast but it wears like for like at least six seven hours on my skin on more on my hydrated skin okay guys so that was the first one Next up, it's another Minia. Uh, this was a box, okay, guys. Next one is another Minia. This one is Minia Coco Lush. Oh my gosh, let me check the, the bottle. Yeah, Coco Lush. Uh, the box is this one. So these are the same, but this is rose gold. The first one is rose gold, and the second one is more like gold. I think they're they're very cute together. This one I love it also. I'm wearing this one today. It smells amazing. If you love coconut, you might want to check out this one. It's not just a, a coconut fragrance. It's fruity coconut with raspberry. Mmm, it's so nice. I love it. Mmm, very playful. And this one it's a dupe for. Where is it? Here. Ariana Grande. Thank you, Next. I believe this is Thank You, Next, right? I love this one. I have backup bottles. I wear this one a lot for bed. It's very sweet and cozy and I love it. It's so nice. It's it's not like a beach suntan uh, coconut. It's different. It's like more fruity and it's very sweet. So it's very suited for winter because it's very, very, very good on this one. Very nice. Mm, I smell amazing today. A bit girly, a bit uh, playful, not complicated at all, but very upli up uplifting. <laughs> and what else? Yeah, I already said playful. Let me just check the notes for you guys. This is Minia Cocolage by Paris Corner. And in the top you have coconut, uh, coconut milk, raspberry and pear. And then in the heart we have Jasmine and Frisia, and in the base, and Broxon, Macaron, and Musk. This is delicious. If you like your sweet, girly, fruity, you might want to check out Minia. If you like this one, maybe maybe if you have this one, you don't need this one, because the prices are maybe, I think this one is the smallest. It might be cheaper, I'm not sure. But the, this one comes in three sizes 30 ml 50 ml and 100 ml i have the whole the the all three sizes from this one just because i got it on sale and i have backups but if you have this one you don't need this one i think the prices might be just 
the same i don't know and the performance it's very nice also very very nice maybe a little bit better than this one because this one has ambroxan in the base so it says quite a bit on skin maybe a little bit more than this one so that was my second one very cute see very demure <laughs> okay guys oh my hair is just stick stuck in my glasses so this one already yeah next up i got it this week like two days ago it's amazing let me let me show you the box guys because this one comes with a double box like a cardboard and then and this is peace and love by latafa i wanted this one for a while but it was not available in portuguese in portugal <laughs> and i got this one i'm not sure if i got it in a spanish how spanish store maybe not i think this one it's it was on a, a portuguese store actually yeah and it came just in two days very very nice so this is the outer box and this is the golden box very luxurious velvety inside and this is from the latafa pride line so the most uh expensive line from Latafa I didn't wear it this one properly I just tested uh, at home for a while and I can tell this has a very good performance not a beast but I mean I, I need to have to test oh to test it properly yeah I just got it two days ago I just worn a little bit a few hours in my house and guys this is a bottle it's not bad it's not i mean it's cute i mean yeah it's classy like classic and yeah i don't hate it but i don't love it either I, it's okay super heavy though guys if you like i have uh, the sample here not a sample a travel size this is supposed to be a dupe when i heard it when i heard this i mean yeah some girls were, were talking about this one on tiktok saying this was a, a, a dupe, <laughs> I can speak, for uh, Soa Malake by Dries, Dries, Van, ay, Dries Van Noten, yeah, so, you know, this bottle, I'm showing you the card because I got, can you see the bottle, it's super expensive, this, this bottle is around three, uh, 300 euros, and I have Dries van Noten and I have two travel sizes that I got when I went to London in September I got two travel sizes actually I wanted to try to to buy the full but I was like prepared to buy to like spend my money on the full size bottle but it was not available it was sold out at Selfridges and then I got two travel sizes because they only sold three tra travel sizes minimum so I bought, I got two, Suomalake and one chamomile something. I have to review the other one. So it's very nice. I really, really love it. It's rosy, fruity, silky, amazing, sensual, very feminine. It's beautiful. I love it. But I only have this and this. So this is another travel size in the box still. I worn it just a little bit can you see and uh, I'm super happy because not today I, I don't want to talk about the Swamalake I want to talk about the dupe so guys this is a very good dupe I was super like curious to know how how similar they were and they are really really similar like in the open in the opening um, can you see no you didn't say the spray it's a very good sprayer Mm, it smells so good in the opening it's just the same 101 uh like soa malake oh i love this one it's it was a good a good uh, blind buy i was a bit like eh, either it, it might not be really really similar but when i spray it it's super super similar guys yeah, I have to, to make a comparison side by side because it just knew it arrived two days ago and I didn't make a comparison. I just 
I just know that it's amazing and it's really, really similar to the OG. So it was around 60 euros, more or less, 65 maybe, with shipping, I'm not sure. Really recommend you guys, if you didn't, I mean, if you didn't try Soie Malake, you don't know if you like Soie Malake, but if you tried Soie Malake and you don't want to spend the high price tag, please check out Peace and Love by La Tafa Pride. A very, very good one. Really, really good. Amazing one, I should say. It's really, really amazing. Okay, guys. Next up is another beautiful one. This one I got it in a uh, in a Portuguese shop. I'm affiliated with that shop. It's called Arom uh, Amira Aromas, and um, this one it's gorgeous. Check out a bottle. I, uh, I also have the black one that I also featured already featured in my video. You know the black with the silver metal, not not really metal. This is plastic, but you know from the same collection. This is Divani. Beirut and the other one I was talking about it, it's the Divani Cairo so this one it's more or less inspired it's not a dupe to my nose it's very good guys if you enjoy Love Don't Be Shy by Killian once again I'm talking about this one I love it but it's really expensive so if you like this genre you know sweet marshmallowy orange blossom you might want to check Beirut, Divani Beirut, because this one is very similar. Let me let me sample because now I just like my brain is not functioning. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm fooling you guys. Yeah, I'm fooling you guys. This is not. Oh my God, I, I got the wrong one. Yeah, my, my brain is not functioning, I'm telling you. This is not a dupe for, uh, I mean, not inspired by this one. This is inspired by, no, I don't have it here. This is her by Zadig et Voltaire. Sorry guys, I like, oh my gosh. The black one that I showed you previously is inspired with this one, okay? This one is inspired. By This Is Her by Zadig et Voltaire and this is almost spot on dupe but to my nose but I was like mistaken I'm a bit tired so <laughs> I, I didn't like prepare myself quite nicely today yeah it's delicious if you enjoy This Is Her by Zadig et Voltaire I, I love it I have like three bottles around the house I always like spray in my sofa everywhere I love it so this is like this her, but sweeter to my nose. Yeah, it's so good. It's really creamy. You have the sandalwood. It's really, really nice. Like a most, maybe nighttime version of this is her. Imagine like more heavy. This is beast mode, guys. The other one is already like quite loud, right? But I think this might be the nighttime version of this is her because it's more heavy more sweet very beautiful yeah super nice love it i was mistaked yeah uh yeah uh, the the notes in this one are top notes lily of the valley peach and pink pepper then in the heart we have jasmine and cedar wood and in the base sandalwood which i pick up a lot white musk also pick up a lot and benzoin this is super delicious, sweet, creamy, enveloping and sensual, guys. This is like a perfect scent for a date. It's warm enough to, to, to wear in a cold season. You could wear it like, I, to me, this is more like an autumn winter. Of course, you can, you can wear this for a night out, maybe in summer. But to me, it's a bit too dense and sweet for summer. But it's still beautiful. It's a floral sandalwood, very creamy, very beautiful and sensual, guys. So check, and I think this is more feminine than masculine. So it's not. It's more feminine. To my nose, it's it's more feminine for the girlies out there. So guys, 
one more middle lesson this was the box the bo uh, the box yes of Be Dira, uh, divani beirut very big bottle uh, big box the last one it's a cutesy pink one that everybody's raving of course because this one it's very like hyped at the moment it comes in a pink bottle and this is Bade Al Oud Noble Blush. Yeah, I love it. It's like I was very excited to get this one. It was a blind buy. And it's super delicious. I think it's delicious. It's like a rosy, creamy, like a bit uh, milky. It's a bit milky, yes. It has a note of rose milk in the opening, I believe. Let me check. Yes, rose milk in the top. Then meringue and almond in the mid, and then in the base, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. This is super girly, and ah, love it. I think it the macer it needs to macerate a little bit. It's already good, but I think it will improve if I let it sit for a while. You know, in the shelf, it's definitely going to be like more, a bit more the beast. I think this one it's not meant to be a beast, but yeah it's already very sweet and very creamy i love it it's so pretty it's a pretty floral creamy musky scent it's so so pretty i really recommend it. you will not be uh, disappointed if you blind buy it this one because if you like pink it's not a granny rose whatsoever it's just a very milky sweet rose with some gourmand notes like the macaron it's very yummy and it's already very very sweet i think it will get get sweeter with the the time and it will be very nice for layering this one for sure so i have from this line but the al oud only have the amethyst which is the uh it's back there on the purple it's the uh purple bottle yeah Ma the other one it's amethyst yeah Bade Al Oud Amatisse, and this is Bade Al Oud Noble Blush. Really recommend it. It's a very good one. Latafa, you're rocking because you, you never disappoint. Sometimes you maybe disappoint, but in these two from Latafa today, bangers. Literally amazing ones. So that's up. That's enough for today from the Middle Eastern ones. Now I have a cheapy that I wanted for so many much time. Everybody's raving about the hairspray, not hairspray, hair primer from this, you know, the very viral super milk hair primer. I used to have it, but I sold it because I sold it now. I I give I gave it away. It was not I love the scent, but I didn't like what it did to my hair. Like the texture it left i didn't like it everybody loves it but i didn't love that product for my hair only love the, the smell and this one it's almost almost the same it's not really really the same smell 95 percent, 90 percent. yeah but still very nice if you like your citruses vanilla scents yeah it's super fresh and sweet and a bit milky but it's not milky like it doesn't have the milk note or but it's like i don't know vanilla with some lemon let me check the nose i think only it's only like yeah vanilla the main accords are vanilla citrus sweet fresh and powdery and then the notes litsia kukiba which is a flower which uh which smells like citruses or lemon but it's not the lemon the note it's a flower smelling like lemon and then vanilla and tonka bean these are the 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 only listed notes in super milk i got the 30 ml i even like i got two of these because it was like 30 euros and i thought mm, i'm going to get two because i already know i love this scent and then okay i'm gonna like run out and i already have another one because you know it's sold out already like i knew this would sold out immediately when 
it was available finally in the Portuguese uh, Lush website uh, because yeah I've heard like in Europe it was already available but in Portugal just last week I got this one and now it's available it's sold out it's a bit similar to the other one from Lush the Chelsea morning but the other one is is more caramel and lemon and this one it doesn't have caramel it's more like vanilla with lemon yeah a bit tonka bean vanilla and lemon it's very nice if you enjoy the hairspray not the hairspray the hair primer or moisturizer how do you call it you might enjoy uh, you might want to check out the perfume this is the eau de parfum i believe i believe it's an eau de parfum and it's like it's not a new launch but it's a new launch in portugal okay because it's not like recent recent new launch but still for me it's a new launch okay okay now four more more expensive ones uh, on the niche side okay so this one is another banger Super raved at the moment, of course. It's a Kayali. Guess what? I got it. And I got the full 100ml bottle just because I was like, I was feeling I would love it. So instead of having the 50ml that was like around 95 euros, I got this one for 130. And I think it's it was a good deal, like full price, but I, I don't regret it because it smells really good it might be similar to the other one I mean in the same vibe you know not similar because they're different scents but in the same like fruity floral yummy that one has rose water this one has uh, marshmallows and raspberry and strawberry super delicious I think though I will prefer to wear this one in the spring because you know sometimes Kayali when they arrive they are too a bit fleety I've worn this once and I think it's a bit fleety for now but like when, when I received yum uh, uh, pistachio gelato I was a bit underwhelmed but then after four or five months or six months it was like much much sweeter much louder and um, I'm very happy with yum, like, like it grew on me, literally. And I think this one, I already love it, but I think if I let it macerate, now we have very cold season, but I think like in March, April, I will pull off this one for sure, because I don't know, it's more like a spring, summer. It's a gourmand. I think this is the most gourmand from Kayali. It's even more gourmand than yum pistachio it's already gourmand but to me this is sweeter than yum pistachio gelato it's so so nice guys really pink really pretty really girly not brown uh, groundbreaking because like some people say it's similar to you know body and body body and bath how to say body and bath works uh sprays like a uh, body spray maybe i don't know we don't have body and bath works in portugal but yeah this could be like a body splash yeah maybe it's too expensive for what it is but i i don't regret it i still love it i think this one it will improve in, in macer when it macerates and it's amazing for layering of course super sweet it's super delicious i love the marshmallow with a with a fruity strawberry and uh what else i don't know raspberry i believe let me check the notes for you guys so the no the name of this one is yam bougie marshmallow 81 by kayali so this is a floral fruity gourmand in the top you have phrygia italian lemon ah so nice then nectarine blossom and apple i pick up a little bit of the apple i think it's super fresh and fruity in the opening then in the mid marshmallow strawberry coconut which i pick up a little bit also not much orange blossom and then in the base whipped cream sugar vanilla 
musk, raspberry and amber. And that's it. Mm, I think this one will, will layer very nicely, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't uh, try this combo, but, but today I'm wearing... No, maybe this one. I want to show you the other one. The white one. Where is it? Oh my gosh. Oh, Minya. Minya Coco Lush. So I'm wearing Minya Coco Lush today. And I think these two might layer well because they both have the raspberry and the coconut. So I think, yeah, maybe I will layer it. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, mm. Oh my, I, I love the opening. It's so nice. So, ah, makes me happy, you know, like, ah, uplifting, playful, again, very girly. Love it. So I really recommend, guys, if you didn't try, maybe you, you want to try the smallest one. I think it's only 30 something euros, the 10 ml. Yeah, it's a nice one and I love the bottle too, like the matte baby pink, very cutesy. It's a lighter shade than this one, can you see? This one, it's a bit more bright, this one. Love them both. Next up, okay, now gourmand, only gourmand, okay? These are almost all gourmand today. I'm not complaining, I love my gourmand. So, this is a very, very new launch. I was super excited. I blind bought this one, of course. But I got it with 20% off. So, I took advantage of that. I got it for Black Friday with 20% off. So, this is a, a bit expensive. It's around 190 but I got it for 20% off with 20% off. So, this is Maison Mataha. Uh, evasion bonbon so i had to pick this one up when i saw it this was not on the uh, official website because on the official website it sold out immediately i think like yeah and it was 190 but then i found out a spanish website called all yours it was my first time and i loved it it came super quick with like three or four days and I was super pleased because I got a discount and this one guys it's another gourmand another strawberry delicious candy like this one smells like you know those candies hard candies in Portugal they are called solero you know the very tiny hard candies round ones with like red and white like spiral or like stripes I, I, loved, I love those uh, candies, they are sugar free, solero, uh, morango and nata, like strawberry and cream. To me, this smells like that. They say the note it's marshmallow or chamallow, chamallow in French, which means marshmallow. But to me, this smells like those hard candy, solero, morango, nata or strawberry and cream. Ooh, super super sweet i'm salivating because i love those candies i need to buy them because i i'm craving them now and they are sugar free so i can have them you need to like your very very sweet gourmand this is straight up candy guys like it's not complex at all it's creamy milky like like not milk it's like the cream you know like strawberries and cream but the candies, really, really extra sugar. Uh, let me check on the nose. This was the box. Evasion Bonbon. It's the name of the fragrance. So the notes in this one, so cute. Yeah, uh, yeah. I wrote, I wrote. It's just like Solano, hard candy, strawberry, and cream. In the top, you have strawberry and caramel. Yeah. To me, I don't pick much of the caramel. I pick like condensed milk like you know cream whipped cream or condensed milk more like that super gooey super dense milky note then you have the chamallow or chamallow in french i think it's a marshmallow in french or a brand this is i think uh haribu or Hara, haribu how do you know the the brand i don't know haribu it's a brand french uh, with a 
Shamalow or Shamalow, Shamalow, marshmallows. To me, it smells like Solero, uh, not Solero, Solano. So sorry, guys, I'm rambling. Shamalow, jasmine, and ylang ylang in the middle. I pick a little bit of the florals also in the background, but not much at all. Or is it? I didn't spray this one. Maybe not. Mm. I think this house never disappoints. Like Escapade Gourmand, it's the most viral, of course. I love it. And it was also 20% off, but I, I didn't buy it because, yeah, I have my almost full. So my I bought it full price. But it was very tempting. I, when I saw 20%, of Escapade Gourmand, never, never saw it before. Like, what? I was tempted to get a backup, but I I could like resist because I got this one. And I also got the other one, you know, guys, the, the new release one. So I'm talking about this one, guys. I had to get them like, come on, guys, with 20%, let's go. So this is Maison Mataha. This is amazing, brownie, Pop? Yeah, brownie pop. If you like your gourmand, your chocolatey slash popcorn, caramel, you might like this one. I don't know. Maybe you don't need it because you have too many already. I have so many caramels, chocolates in my collection, but I I was super curious to try this new release. It was also a blind buy and it's delicious, guys. I'm gonna sample it here. Yeah, this smells like cookies. Ooh, la la. And I pick up on, on the uh, salted caramel. Uh, no, salted popcorn note. Yeah, it's sweet. It's savory. It's so nice, guys. It's so yummy. Like cookies with like some caramel. Um, let me check on the notes. So this is brownie pop by Maison Mataha. This is an oriental vanilla. In the top you have brown sugar. I think Escapade Gourmand also has the note of brown sugar. It's so yummy. Uh, brown sugar on the top and then in the mid you have chocolate. Biscuit. Biscuit. Uh, biscuit. How do you say biscuit? I am saying it in French. Biscuit. Uh, popcorn and hazelnut. I pick up a bit of, on the like biscuit and the popcorn and the caramel. I pick on, on everything. Oh, this is delectable, guys. This is so, so yummy. Eh. So in the base, you have vanilla and sandalwood. So it's not very complex, but it's very, very delicious. Like just out of the oven cookies with some extra popcorns on top and then drizzled caramel and some hazelnut spread, you know, that kind of... Oh, it's so nice. I, it's a bit salty. It's savory and sweet at the same time. And I love this, this combination. Like almost salted caramel, but with the popcorns, you know? Love it. I'm salivating, oh my gosh. I'm, too, I'm craving like a cookie, like a, something like smelling like this. But for, you know, to eat... <laughs> I cannot have sugar, so I'm a bit like, I have lots of cravings, but okay. Uh, this has not calories, but so it's good for my keto diet. I really recommend uh, both. Where is the other one? I lost it. Now I have three Mizomataha bottles. I love them all together. Uh, this one is sweeter, guys. This one, it's more savory, sweet, chocolatey, popcorn. I think to like the Vivazion Bonbon, you need to like your like marshmallows, strawberries, candy scents, super extra with extra sugar. This one is also sweet, but it's like savory and sweet. So it's less sweet. It's less sticky sweet. This one, you need to like your super sweet fragrances. The performance, it's not very good for now. It's like it in the middle. They don't project much. This one, it's, it's actually very loud, but it's just in the opening. I mean, for when you apply it, it's very, wow. 
so much so much sweetness and strawberry you know like candies but then it, it's very quiet so i i really need to test this one more like properly just worn it at the house because they're just new i love my new babies and i had to share you it with you guys my 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 thoughts about these new releases yeah they're good i think the maison bantaha it's a very good gourmand house so yeah so far they have only three and the last one it's a bummer that one i'm being honest guys i don't like it i i got it and i don't like it so i lost my money i need to sell it maybe i'm not sure so i got this is the bottle the box this is by jose the box opens like this Choo -choo. and the, bo the bottle it's like so you see it's very pretty but it, it smells terrible <laughs> it smells terrible guys i like i pre-ordered this one with 15 percent off it was still very expensive 100 uh, i think 110 or 15 for this one already with the discount okay guys but and this is 30 ml because the 100 ml is super expensive like 200 so i thought i would go i would love it because it's creme brulee you know they have like three or four from this uh, collection uh, they're called les délices de jousset and i pick up only this one because i didn't want it to get the coffee one because i have too many coffees in my life and there was another one with banana i believe in it i don't like banana at all and there was another one with caramel i don't know there were four i believe i'm not sure what i know popcorn one popcorn i like popcorn but uh i wanted to get this one the creme brulee and guys i'm so disappointed uh, the, the bottle is super cute super cute and heavy and super luxurious with uh, Jose written in the lid I cannot wear this one literally I tried it on paper I tried it on skin and guys I'm gonna try it again just for you guys okay it's I mean like me I think there are other people that didn't didn't like it also because I, I wished this one like changed like <sighs> Ah, it's a bit creme brulee, guys, okay? But it's not just creme brulee. Oh, on my skin, it's even worse than on paper. To me, it's like baby vomit or cheese. You know, when you smell the, the milk or the, the cream, when the cream is very sour, almost like vomit you know the smell i'm talking about i love cream love cream and i love whipped cream and i love uh, the 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 thick one the french they are very sour you know like creme fraiche i love to have like with my berries with my raspberries but this one it's more than that i can see they wanted to imitate the scent of the pan of the cream but when the cream is turning a bit off, you know, when the cream is like too many days in the fridge and then it's like bad already, it smells like puke, uh, you know what I mean? Almost cheese, almost vomit. Ugh. I could not stand this on my skin. I really don't know what, what to do with my bottle because ugh, maybe some, I don't know, I might sell it on Vinted, I don't know but someone might like this i don't know maybe i'll sell it for half a price of course not 100 but like 50 euros but i don't know how can someone like this actually i saw the review of gabi from the you know gabi from the i don't know the name of the channel i just forgot gabi loves perfumes i think and she was 
Like, she loved this one. And she reviewed all of the four, I believe. And then I said, oh, sorry, Gabi, but I didn't like creme brulee. It smells like cheese to me. And some other people, like, said, yeah, it smells like cheese. We don't like it. We don't like it. Such a, dis such a disappointment. I hope this will, like, change for, like, somehow. And I will be able to wear it like i i have hopes for this one because 100 euros to garbage ew, i don't i don't want to waste my money it's a bit creme brulee but with also with cheesecake more or less you know what i mean the scent vanilla custard i didn't i didn't say the name the notes it's sweet very sugary and vanilla of course but then it's cheesy to my nose so Crème brûlée, les délices de Jousset. Spun sugar. I don't know it's spun sugar. Fresh cream. Yeah. Fresh cream. Turning bad already. Yeah. Burnt sugar. I can pick up a lot. A little bit of the burnt sugar. Like in the... The other one. From Maison Mataha. You know. Escapade Gourmand has the burnt sugar note. So, burnt sugar, custard, also pick up on the custard, and vanilla. Okay, so far, yeah, I pick up these notes. And then in the base, bourbon, vanilla, and whipped cream. So we have the cream, the cream, the whipped cream again. But to me, the cream just gone bad, you know? It's azedo. In Portuguese, we say, like, spoiled, really spoiled. No, if you eat those spoiled natto, you get sick of your stomach, you know what I mean? Because... It's not good to have like bad uh, cream, right? So guys, that was my little negative review today. And I, I don't know. I hate to make uh, negative reviews, but uh, that's just my opinion. And I, I'm super honest. So I, I had to say what I think, what I smell. Yeah. So I don't recommend this one. Maybe the other ones are all very, very good. I'm sure they are. The popcorn one, the banana one, and I'm not sure about the other one. So guys, I hope you enjoy my video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my video. Subscribe if you didn't already. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Beijinhos!